The third Sunday after Pentecost, year A. From the Gospel according to Matthew. Do not be afraid. You are of more value than many sparrows. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our readings for this week continue to focus on discipleship, and particularly on the question of striving to be first among disciples. So often we struggle to believe that God will keep watch over our lives, so we grasp at the knowledge that God is good and forgiving, great in his love toward all who call upon him. As soon as we consider our so-called rivals, however, we are eager for God to show us signs of favor so that those who hate us may see it and be ashamed. Last week, Sarah was delighting in Isaac. This week, she's jealous of Ishmael, jealous enough to send the child and his mother into exile and probable death. But God cares both for Ishmael and for Isaac, for Sarah and for Hagar, and even for hapless Abraham. God's care for each of us demolishes the hierarchies we establish to put one person's needs above the other. And so, Jesus does indeed set us one against another, as those whose competing needs don't fall into the tidy categories our societies and systems have taught us to expect and perpetuate. Given that our God cherishes each of us, the way of the cross means following Jesus into self-giving by laying aside our craving for primacy and embracing the equality of the dead, as those who have all been cast under the bush to die, as those who have been buried with Christ by baptism into death, we have nothing left to lose. Death no longer has dominion over us. Our baptism has set us free to look around and see the well set before us by the God who listens to our cries. Let us therefore fill our skins with water and give a drink to others who thirst. For this is the newness of life in which Jesus invites us to walk. In the name of that same Jesus, who with the Father and the Spirit lives and reigns now and forever. Amen. <laughs>